right as we know camping in the rain isn't much fun and we don't actually know what to do for next year uh, and we're trying to get organized in time uh, do we go for a camper van do we go for a caravan or do we buy a new tent do not know right so we're going to go and see my friend um kirsty she actually runs a business called custom house and they actually convert and customize camper vans which is brilliant um so I gave her a ring earlier and she said she's got a couple of vans in so we can go and check them out, see what they're like, are they suitable for a family of four, and we've got a dog now, um, will they float our boat? We're going to go and check it out and ask them all the questions and I'm sure she'll let us know. Right, so we've got to head to Elgin Industrial Estate in Swindon, which I think we're not too far away from now. Here we are. Found it. Custom Pants. Right, here we are at Custom House. We're going to go in, see if she's in. Hopefully she's free. Um, and hopefully she can ask uh, answer some questions that we've got for her about camper vans. Hello, Hello Kirsty. Yeah. So, I sort of to explain, um, you, you're, you don't sell camper vans. No. You just custom convert them. Can convert them. And that's brilliant because yeah. Janice and I, we don't know whether to get a caravan or a camper van next right. year or just get a new tent. Yeah. But we know that, you know, I know speaking to you, you're not going to be selling me anything, but you yeah. can tell us which is going to be the most yes. suitable probably. Exactly. And hopefully you've got some examples or something yeah. that you can we've show got us. Some nice ones in today. We've got some uh, couple around the back. So I don't even know the difference. I've heard of so pop top. And this is all bespoke cabinetry. Do you want a shower and toilet? Oh, right. So. I've heard of these. These are pop tops, aren't they? Have a look at this, this one. one. So this is the first time I've actually sat in a camper van and I'm actually quite impressed. Um, the fact that on this you've got an awning that you just take out and you can put an inflatable awning on it so it would go on for miles. It would be huge, wouldn't it? Way bigger than our tent. So you've got a pop top roof which has got beds in. This pulls out obviously as beds. But you do have kitchen and cooking facilities which is really handy. Just the um, torn between do we like the fact that we can just shoot off in the car or will we be happy moving everything at once? I don't know. But what we're going to do is check out some more of the vans that they've got here and just look at all the options they do have. Mike was saying, the chap that owns this, that this is actually, can sleep up to five, double bed there and you can sleep three on here. This is really uh, plenty of space. I don't know where the dog would go for us though. So. 
if uh, we pulled the double bed out. So we'll carry on looking at the others and see what looks good. There you go, so bed out. Amy's enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> the bed's quite big. The bed's big yeah. enough for two of you. The dog would go down there, the kids would go, ah, but we've got two. Would Bo and Amy sleep together? <laughs> Right, so these can be made higher apparently because you've got the pop shot. Now there, so we've got all the room you can ask for. And it's even got space up there for a naughty child, doesn't it, Amy? No? I'm really impressed with the space you've got on this. And it looks so nice inside. And a lot more wind resistant than this. Tent, isn't it? Right, let's have some a look at some others now. See what other options there are. It's swaying me bit by bit, especially seeing this one. It's so nice. Because it was a toilet, a proper toilet would be nice. See what else they've got. We're just looking now. This looks like, um, I, I would say almost like a pimp camper van. Because it's so low, but <laughs> No, it's not. It's, uh, <laughs> there is a reason I went for this. Uh, this is a happy byproduct of the reason I went for the the air ride yeah I can yeah two seconds just in here I've got a control panel oh right and if I'm on a slightly uneven campsite yeah I oh. can raise and lower each corner oh so I get so, a nice level bed so it really is like one of those little cars that you can see bounce up and down well no that's hydraulics yeah uh, this is our uh, hydraulics yeah. is a lot faster yeah. um that's why I went for this rather than a kitchen in the van yeah uh, the kitchen so could you put an awning on here? Yeah, I've got an awning. This is a roof, same as that. Yeah, oh, so you've got, got, oh, you got And I've got an awning right underneath it. Yeah, it's exactly the same roof as that one yeah. there. So you could put like one of these inflatable awnings that we've seen on the side and just use this for sleeping in so it's way more comfortable. Yeah, I've got you? I've got four grandchildren. They, two down there, two up there, and Anne and I always sleep in the awning. Oh Inflatable awnings take up quite a bit of room. Well, oh yeah, then you've got kitchen that. bits and cooking bits as well, haven't you? I, I cook everything on a Kodak. Right. You know of Kodak? No, not really. Um, I've just nod and it's a, it's a gas barbecue. Oh, right. Yeah. Them, yeah. I can cook for six people on one. Uh, I can get my inflatable awning, uh, my Kodak, and any other little bits and pieces I need in there, along there. Um, couple of chairs in the front if, I, if I'm taking yeah. chairs and that's everything yeah, that's ample, isn't it? so yeah. I don't really use a great deal of space in the front and how often do you use yours would you use this all year round or you just all year go, round you go camping all or, year or, round oh, not camp. yeah I'll go all year round uh, yeah. we did Christmas last year year before did you? Yeah, Christmas and that's uh, it so I suppose they stay so what's the battery life on these like? So if you're charging it to keep you warm, like we plug in, or would you use an electric hookup and you get a can camp electric and hookup. Um, put a heater in there? I've got a heater in this one. You so got... down there on the floor. Right. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's like a that's little air exit. heat. Yeah. That's air coming out of there. Hot air comes out. Uh, and there's control just above this little girl's head. Your daughter, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh, it's got everything you want, really. It's you got everything I want. Uh, it's just that's like nice sleeping accommodation, isn't it? So you've got what you want. Yeah, there, my bed is huge. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, we got storage underneath the bed. Oh right, yeah, of course, as well. Um, yeah. um, and I've got a full width bed. Yeah. No, and the beauty nice. of this one as well. And I'm not knocking any other call, any other maker beds. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> is in the morning. Right, I'm sorry, That's a bad. Have some coffee. Uh, yeah. What is this? Lift back. Like a, yeah, chillax. Yeah, so you can chew in the back. It's, but you can also, with this bed, you can pop that right up. Mm. Like that. Oh, so I've got even more room in there. Can you do it? Yeah, so look, man. That's like quite a lot of space in there, isn't it? And this is a short wheelbase van. Yeah, so it's a short van, but you've got the space. Yeah, the footprint isn't much bigger than most cars, to be fair. Yeah. 
Uh, both seats swivel. Oh, so you can turn these around? Yeah, I can turn these around. I'll turn one around for you if you want. I can't believe how big they are when you've got like the pop top roof on. Do you yes. sell a lot of pop top roofs then, Kirsty? Yes. Yeah. We do. Has that got to be one of the main. That sort of really makes the camera. Especially on the Volkswagens, when they're down, you can't see them, so it doesn't interfere with the vehicle height for barriers. Right. It's like that one, obviously, when it's down, it becomes that when it's up, and it's just a game changer, you know? Everyone yeah. gets there. There's up. another bit in here, there's another type that you can look at. This one started life as a white panel van. Did it? So we did all the bodywork and paint. They all did so this how much would a white panel van cost me? That's, this is what it's going to end up boiling down. How much would a white panel van so cost? So the white van over there was a 20. That's a 21 or 2 plate. Yeah. I think that was about 24 plus that for the van to start. Yeah. For the so van. It just depends on the van and yeah. the spec. They come with different specs of like driver comforts. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the bits and pieces as well. Yeah. So, so it's probably worth having a look at that one so you can see what straight. So we have a look at what a out. normal van looks like. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's 1980, yeah. and this is 19, no, 2022. Yeah. So there's a 40 odd year age gap between exactly, these two. Yeah, and that one's a 1996 um, T4. So there's a massive love for the vehicles throughout yeah. the ages. So we do anything from the old split so, windows right up to the new electric yeah. vehicles. Um, so we can pick up any van really, can we? Yeah, tomorrow we got um, the delivery of a electric Vito, fully electric one. I suppose more, one, more of them are going electric now, are they? If you're or kind you? of in some of the areas where you have to have that as a, a standard, yeah. that's... I'm know. just thinking because you don't have much mileage, do you, one? The electric one. On an electric car, they're limited to about 250k. Depends so on weight. Like, yeah. yeah, it's weight, and I was just thinking with an electric van, that... With the weight it as well, be reduced, I bet they, yeah. it reduces. It's, and it's payload to how much you can carry. So we've so got the, we've got a hybrid car, and while it's been cold, it normally does, we get like, if I charge it up, it gets like 20 odd miles. In the cold, it's only doing 16. Yeah. So I imagine that would restrict, you wouldn't want to go camping in the winter if you haven't got any charging units I mean, nearby. It's like everything, everything's great in its own environment. You know, yeah. in, if you're in Bath and Oxford, and some of these places, the little electric camper van's brilliant. Yeah. You know, the little Nissans and Vauxhalls, fantastic. They do exactly what people want them to do. Um, and so do the diesel Volkswagen. Yeah. So it's all, there's a place for everything. It's know? just, well, yeah. It's just, you just got to future proof yourself to some extent. Yeah, I think I'd go for diesel. <laughs> so. Right, so this van here, this is like a bog standard van has been transformed white again to a white one but with a bit more of a dynamic streak beautiful green paint so obviously if we got one we could have it done however we wanted but um Kirsty and Carl are going to show us inside this one now to see what other options you've got again plenty of storage I think at the back Oh, wow, this one looks nice as well. This has got a pop top roof, you yeah, said, as same well, isn't it? This is higher up than the other one. The seats in this seem higher up than in the other one. But again, really comfortable. If you get that up, obviously you've got room, so my hair would be touching. So this would be four berths. It's family camper, yeah. Family the, camper. the good thing about the seats here is that you sleep on the back, it's slightly wider, right. and also you can fit a portable WC under the seat. Oh, and these seats spin round, so you can have this one will turn around slightly, and yeah. this one will fully turn round, so you and then you have a dining area yeah. as well. That's really good. Does this open? So, this is. is the table clips onto that as well. The table clips onto there, pulls it. This is really clever, isn't it? And you've got your little gas stove. So, again, like, I'm really impressed with these. After seeing, like, sitting in one for the first time. The pop top roof. Is spectacular. You get more Chairs headroom on the pop top because yeah. of the bifold bed. So when you're sat in it, like normally with the roof up, you then obviously get more headroom at the back and you can take the hatch out as well. So yeah. then you just have a massive standing up space and then open all the canvas. And just bringing them to you and just turn it into a camper. Yeah, yeah. And it's a lot of the model range. It's lots of boxes as well. So everything, isn't it? There's more 
availability of parts, you know, all the other manufacturers have now gone down the route of like, oh, we need some, you know, the kitchen makers and things like that have gone, we can now provide them with transit, whereas mm. before you couldn't. So, it's all whatever makes we can't event. buy, we just make. Yeah. Okay. You know, and that's where the difference is. No. So, you've got a cute little fridge, which is really nice. Let's have a look at it. Oh, fold out drawer for your cutlery. Again, sorry, let me just have a look. Obviously you've got storage under there. More storage. Don't know what that is. Ah, ah, gas for your cooker and bits and pieces. And water for your sink. So everything's hidden, nothing's bouncing around. You need like a little portable TV. You need one of those projector screens, we don't do. you? We put projectors on the front and then it fits on the rear hatch and you have all the front of the tent becomes a projector. Oh wow, I can get my projector at last. Projector behind, sat there, tilt this back, beer. <laughs> right, so this is just a plain white van as it comes from bog standard. So we're just gonna look at what it's like before and then what it can transform into. So it is just very plain, well, like your typical plumber's van, but without the shelving. And so that can be transformed into more or less what looks like a great little camper van. Um, yeah, can be transformed to this. So they go from no windows, no bed, no pop top, no awning, no swivel seats. They're having everything fit in storage. I mean, these are like great little mobile homes. Um, really, really quite impressed. And it's the look of them as well. If you look at these, they're all so pretty. And a lot more sturdy than a tent in the rain. Samples in here as well, yeah. so you can choose from them. So look, thanks, Kirsty. Oh, yeah. so much for showing us around. Um, and I think you know, Amy loves them. Janice, who's behind the camera, sorry that we can't see, loves them. It's just a case of what sort of budget would we be looking at? So if I said we spend like twelve thousand, fifteen thousand on a van, how much extra would it cost us? to get one fitted out with like beds and a pop top and stuff like that you know are we looking like another 30,000 pounds or are we talking like you know 12 to 15,000 would get us something that would be really I don't know I don't think it would have the flashing lights and the LEDs etc but we yeah. would we be looking at something that's really like a good so for family family camper yeah you'd be going to campsites yeah weekends away weeks holiday yeah that's holidays, what we're looking at like yeah so what would you say i'd say the starting price would be roughly around twelve thousand. yeah and all the options of like the lights like you mentioned the different sort of tweaks to make it personal yeah they can all be added at a later date or we, you know sometimes you don't actually know what you need until you go out and you go realize what's you missing need. so it's <laughs> always an advantage we kind of profile you and say where do you want to go? What do you want to do? How long do you want to go away for? How many people? You know, what sort of, what's your adventure going to be? You know, where are you going to go? Um, and what time of yeah. year? That's quite important. So then you can look to what, what you would need and um, what the levels of importance are, like fridges, cooking, cooking outside. Some people don't cook inside. Some people want a bigger bed. But generally, 12 would be a very good start point, like, and then yeah. we'd look to see how your budget would reflect in the areas you need to spend more on and what you save on. Yeah, no, that's great. So, 12 would get us a pop top, 
and beds. Would you get kitchen. swivel chairs? It can do. It depends if you have a double or single um, front seat. So yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, of yeah. course. That's they're, not that, they're not that expensive. No. You know. Um, and that's a key thing as well. So you have yeah. got everything. So with the, um, I think with Craig had on his, he had like the pull-out awning. Is, uh, do they cost a lot more or um, not? They do. They cost around about, I'd say, eight hundred plus. Well, that's not. That's the same as any awning, isn't it? it really, is, yeah. for a caravan. And you can have the. Um, with the multi rails, you can also have the little ones you slide in, like li extra living areas and things yeah. like that. So again, it's something which we find people tend to add as their journey evolves. Yeah. You know, they, they just realise they need it, or you know, could be a never-ending project. <laughs> really it's a, and then when you've got it, it yeah. so and this, so I'm just looking around here. This is like obviously your little showroom. Or, yeah, or, you have all the little, but you've got so we could do these. You do any colour you want. Yeah. For like, and it's that like. Wow. And upholstery, have you got like a, Amy. Uh, that's the wood? This is for um, window designs. This window? is the blinds. Oh my God. Um, so you can have those, or you can have curtains. You have all the um, materials for the wood. So these are upholstery? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just looking around. This is all some of the upholstery choices. You have some of the woods yeah. for the, all the kitchens. You have the options for all the materials for the pop top roof. Well, so the pop top roof can come in different colours. You can colours. choose all different styles to suit your van. <laughs> You can have different lights. You I'm going to have a really psychedelic van at the end of this. Yeah. Yeah. Different flooring. Yeah. And then you can colour code a lot of the options and have um, electrical system made to see your needs and you know sort of what phones you have, how you want yeah. it to charge. So you can have Bluetooth chargers exactly. and everything put in there. And, and I like this end of the projector as well. If you've well. got interesting uh, design colour choices, we can help you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Janice would approve of my design choices. No. No, look, this has been really good. And it's like definitely food for thought for me, Janice, Amy. Bo hasn't seen it, so Bo's missed out. But um, oh, he can come back another time. Yeah, yeah. I think it's definitely, you know, we've been camping in the rain. We've been envious of people in the camper vans. So maybe we do start to look and get rid of that envy. Or maybe we look at a caravan. <laughs> that could be our next trip. I don't, really don't know. What do you think? And Janice is behind the camera, but if you could speak. I love it. When can we get one? <laughs> right, that's it. Right, so I'm just off to do some overtime. <laughs> but no, that's it. Great. Right, so uh, firstly, a big thanks to Kirsty and the Custom House Gang for letting us have a look around at a lot of different camper vans, and I think I'm now even more confused. I don't know whether a camper van, they look brilliant, and I think they would accommodate our family quite well, but at the same time, I think we're still going to check out some caravans, and we're still going to look around to see what tents are available. But um, if anybody is looking for, but you know, uh, options to go with camper vans definitely do look ideal especially for smaller families as well because great sleeping accommodation in them and with the pop top roof so i didn't even know were really available they do really become very very roomy but yeah i think next for us let's go and check out some caravans mm -hmm.